So John, how many disk groups would you build out within a vSAN host? Or really, how many do you need? So I like to start at two. Um, personally, the minimum you need is one. The maximum you have is five. Um, it's going to be determined what's going to help with this decision logic is uh, one, how much performance you're trying to push. Any environment where you really, I guess, are trying to push any significant amount of performance, you really want to see two disk groups that helps provide more placement paths, increase parallelization. Also, if you have a disk group fail, uh, you lose a cache device. Uh, the other disk group can keep operating. And so that, uh, from an availability sense, gives you yet another place to help kind of pack data, particularly around smaller clusters and things like that. Uh, where I see people often do is if they've got a, a 1U pizza box with, say, 12 drives and a moderate workload, they might do two disk groups on that. If they've got a 24 drive bay 2U common package, they'll typically do at least three disk groups, occasionally four. Uh, do note, just because of the drive considerations on your host, you might end up to where you have a disk group that has one extra drive than the other disk groups. Uh, don't be scared of that. That's fine. VCN's smart enough to pack it. As long as the hosts are at a consistent capacity and a consistent number of drives, you're going to get pretty even results. Okay. So really, I think it. it uh, what I'm hearing you say is that it really uh, comes down to the Typical form factors of servers that we see, generally you're going to try to shoot for somewhere in the two to three disk group range. Would that be a, a fair to say? Correct. It's really only people who are trying to do some really like heavy hitting databases where people start to go for four mm -hmm. um, or exotic form factors that just hold a lot of drive based where people go to five. Yeah, that makes sense.